Hey guys, it's Super Poseidon here, bringing you another episode of Spyro the Dragon. Uh, in the last episode, we took care of Nork Cove, and then forgot that you had to go through the uh, end whirlwind thing to get back uh, in order to unlock the next uh, level. So we quickly went back and did that, and now here we have unlocked the next level in Nasty's World, Twilight Harbor. So in this episode, we're going to take care of this and hopefully get to and beat Nasty Nork. So, uh, let's do it. We are almost at the end of this game. And it feels good. Oh, hold on. That, I had to take care of something real quick. So, uh, as soon as we come in, it's very, uh, advanced compared to, uh, what was in, like, some of the first worlds. It's very, like, there's a lot of, like, metal buildings and stuff. And now these Norks have guns, which is so kid-friendly. But I guess it is entertaining. No! Ah! Oh, dang, you can slit me. No! Yeah, so now these Norks have advanced in technology. And they're big dudes with grenades. Dang it. So yeah, now these Norks have much superior weaponry than swords and vultures as weapons. So, uh, yeah. What have you guys been playing recently? I have been playing few games actually. Um, I picked up Omega Ruby for the 3DS um, the day it came out on the 21st of November. And I've been playing that. Oh no. Ah, dang it. I never dodged these guys. Uh, what else have I? Uh, I also picked up Smash Bros on the same day for Wii U. I'm playing that a bit with my friends. Which is a really, really fun game. Um, and I also picked up Dragon Age. <clears throat> Dang it! I also picked up Dragon Age Inquisition for the PS4. And that is a very fun game. I love RPGs. And it's it's a it's a really good game. It's got a very big open open world feel. Uh, stop it. Here. Seriously? You just... Okay, apparently these guys can shoot whenever they want. Okay, there. I'm just gonna take it easy and jump over these guys. That are running them. Nope. Dang it. No. No. Okay, come here, mice. I need you. I need you in my life. Alright, we got our first dragon. Cosmos. Thank you for releasing me. Wow. Uh, another useless dragon. Right, this guy's easy. Got another one of those machine gun guys. Ooh. Huh, when you talk to a dragon, mice respawn. Or, I think so. Oh well, I am now at gold, so I don't have to worry about, or I, I still have to worry about getting hit, but not as much. Oop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty much with these guys, just take it easy. Jump over their shots two or three times. Like one, two, and then you can, then you can play them pretty easily. So there's a, I heard a life. A life jar. Where exactly is it? Oh, it's probably up there with the... Dude chucking grenades. Alright, so he throws them there. Aw, oh, come on. Seriously? That is not fair. Ah, gotcha. No? No life bottle? Thought I heard one. Unless it's farther up here. Nope. Alright, so here we got a interesting gimmick. But we will talk to our second dragon. Uh, Cletus. Be 
Be on the lookout for Nort Commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. Yeah. Nort Commando should be on the lookout for Spyro. Aha, here's a life. Recover for the one we lost. Alright, so we got a supercharge panel here, and we also have a bridge. Flaming the uh, handles of the bridge will raise it and lower it. And you actually need to raise it and lower it to get all of the gems. But if you don't lower it, and you come down through here... Let's see, can I do this? Yeah, I got it. We have a crate to smash open. Come on, pick up all the gems. And kill that mouse, just close. Alright, so we got that taken care of. Ooh, there's no, that's where the life thing is coming from, it's up there. Okay. So, after we take out that crate, if you fling the handle, it will raise the bridge up, which gives us a nice ramp to impale the Norks at the top with our supercharge. So let's do it. And wang! Whoa! And oh! Gotcha! Alright, we got a bunch of gems up in this like warehouse area. It looks kinda like a warehouse. And we have also got, if you jump down here and don't go light across, we have two ledges. One I think has a light. The other one either has nothing or it has some gems. Check. It's got nothing. Sweet, I was right. Ooh. Okay, so then we can jump and glide across and get 30 more gems. And now this area is cleared. But oh no, we can't get across. Luckily, there's a handle on the side. So we can flame it and go right across. Okay. Well, I think we're actually almost done this level. Uh, this level has 400, and we have both dragons. Alright, so that guy's annoying. Once he's done shooting, jump over, charge that guy, kill that guy, collect your gems, and that pretty much takes care of that problem. There's one dude left, he can't shoot you from way out here, so you can collect whatever gems that you didn't get, and then you can just kind of ram that for this guy. Ooh, here's the, like, the final stretch area, there's you, oh this guy almost got me. Nope. And kill me now. I, re I remember your strategy for killing these guys. So I hope we don't die by these guys anymore. Okay, so we got eight. Wow, I can't believe I missed that. There we go. There we go. Alright, now we got literally that, and then we're done. <laughs> it's a very short level. Oh, come on, no. No! No! Dang it. Come on. Frick. Stop it. Right now. That's not it. That shoots right beside. Oh look, they got like ooze coming out of the uh, pipes. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, he shoots across. Boom. Jump. Jump. Come on, I jumped over that. Come on, seriously? I jumped over that. Great thing about sparks. This guy shoots right at the corner. And then we gotta glide over, and there's two. Oh yeah, see, he shoots right at the edge as well. No, oh. no, no! Ah, poop. Ah, great, now I gotta do this. Oh, bad. Let's just run through this. Seriously? It's a weird gun. It shoots mini Doritos. No, actually, never mind. It doesn't shoot Doritos. It shoots bugles. 
little cone shaped things. So delicious. I always used to put them on my fingers. I dodged. I dodged your bugle Dorito shots. And we're done. Yay! Nom nom nom. Pick up all the gems. And we should be, hopefully, at 400. Pause. 400. Yay, we're done. So, boom. Let's just head on through here and we can continue to Nasty Nork. And after clearing that, we have the purple mouth with Nasty Nork. This should give us, what, our last, uh, is this all the gems? Let's see. Yeah, 200. So, so I think we are, yeah, we're done here. We just need one more dragon after we beat Nasty Nork. Are you guys ready? Because I am. Let's do it. Let's confront Nasty Nork. The man who did all of this. The evil green stupid guy. Look at that guy. Alright, I'm gonna try something. Because I'm not exactly sure what happens if you get hit by his green beam. Because as soon as you start moving, he will shoot you with his club. It'll glow green and he will shoot you with his crystal beam thing. I'm not exactly sure, or at least I forget what happens when you get hit by it. So I'm gonna move and then just stay still. Let's see what happens. No? There you go. Okay. Let's see what happens if I die. Aw, oh, you don't get turned into crystal. Okay. That's fine. He's incredibly inaccurate with it anyway. So, uh, shouldn't have too much problem. And how many gems are in this level? I think it's 500. Yep. Okay, we got 500 gems to collect. So, uh... Um, be ready. So there are, there's uh, technically two, two doors and then Nasty's platform. So what you are going to want to do is collect all the gems. You don't really want to, it's it kind of sucks having to miss all of them. So the best thing to do is kind of just walk your way through. Your gems will pretty much be laid out in whatever path you're supposed to take to catch these, this, uh, Thief with the key. So, after you're done collecting all the gems, just freaking just ram the guy. And then we can just climb back up. Or not climb, what am I talking about? Charge. Um, and then stick the key in the second door. And there's another thief. Dang it. I was hoping I could just get him real quick. Alright, now we got even more gems. Whoop, whoa, whoa, whoa. God, hey, hey, hey. Get the gem. So nasty. Uh, this is this is a cool fight because the music, if you if you can hear it, I'm not sure how quiet it is. I remember in uh, some of my earlier videos, I was not very loud and the music was way too high. So I'm not sure how. Oh, way. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not sure how loud it is, but the music is the music is pretty cool. But the actual nasty Nork fight, uh, it can get a little intense, but it's very, very simple. It is an incredibly easy fight. Dang it, missed it. Come back here. Uh, chasing after these thieves can be a pain, especially if you uh, don't get close enough to them. Then uh... There we go. Gotcha. Okay. Have our second key, which means we can now fight Nasty himself. Boom. As soon as you get close with the key, he'll run away. This thing lowers to create a step. And now you can chase him. He's incredibly fast, like he will he I don't I I've never seen anyone hack it to increase their speed, but he will always be ahead of you, no matter how fast you are. There's no way, I don't think there's any way to actually catch up to him. Because all you're supposed to do is flame him. And, uh, I don't think there's any way to, uh, to catch up to him. So you might as well just, uh, take your time. He's a, he just waits up there for you. And then once you come, he'll continue running again. If, if you don't flame him. 
which uh, if you're going slow collecting all these gems it may be a little difficult. Let's see we're at like 300 and some. Collect all of these and yeah see he immediately comes off. Because he waits a while uh, at the very end platform he'll wait a little bit and then he'll start running again. And then that little point when you catch up to him that little waiting point is when you're supposed to flame him. So as soon as you get up here, he'll be around the corner already, because he is always ahead of you. But yeah, this fight is it's it's kinda boring. I wish they like changed it up a little bit. But that's okay. And I think like, there, you flame him and he drops 125. And now here comes the crazy part. If you chase down after him, that'll be platforms. He uh, these platforms will slowly shrink, as you can see. The texture kind of looks weird on it. It just looks like the texture is just compressing itself. But these platforms are shrinking. And once you get up here, uh, you'll activate a cutscene if you don't hit them. You're toast, Nor. <laughs> scene. Scene is funny. You're toast, nasty Nork. Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? His toast! So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. Yeah, everyone. The sky's the limit. And why did I snap? Uh, we have now beaten the game. We defeated Nasty Nork with a funny looking uh, finisher of uh, Sparrow just standing up saying you're toast. And now we have the credits, which just roll through. It'll just have the credits and it'll roll through uh, the, the different levels and stuff. But I guess now is the point where I kind of uh, I guess reflect on the game, I guess. Uh, it's an awesome game. I've been playing it since I was like like seven years old. Uh, so I've been playing it for a while. Just like every every like year or so, I'll go back and I'll just like play through these games, get all 100%, and you know enjoy them. It's like it's it's such a like these games are old. They're for PlayStation One, but it's such a classic game. Um, it's awesome that Insomniac made these games because they did an excellent job. And they, well, of course, when they first came out, these games were top notch. But uh, these games are classic. It's like you can't, you can't, call, well, not call yourself a gamer, but uh, you can't go through without playing a bunch of classic games. And by classic, I don't mean like like the old like Sega, Atari stuff like that, which of course those are classic, but even the PlayStation 1. Playing some of these games is just... Because a lot of games nowadays are just... They're, they don't seem the same. There's not much of a... Such a cool feel to them. Like, yeah, you have good games. You got, like... You got good this like first-person shooters. You got good RPGs. You got, like... Final Fantasy games are always known for their story and stuff like that. But... Games like this, like Spiral 1, 2, and 3, they feel classic, they feel good, they feel like very cool games, and uh, hopefully I did an okay job playing them, because I know, well, Josh Jepson uh, finished the, uh, the first game, and uh, no sheep were harmed in the making of this game. A few norks, but no sheep. Yeah, like... Uh, these games are just, they're good, and uh, hopefully I did a good job. Maybe in the, the next one, of, well of course I'm going to do all three. In the second one, hopefully I can uh, improve some stuff. Uh, the second game, there is a cheat that can make the game a little bit more, um, how you say, like, more linear. It helps you complete stuff in in order instead of having to go back all the time. Because in the game you do go back every once in a while to complete some stuff. So uh, when I play the second one, if if you guys want me to, use, like I might just make a separate video explaining how it works. 
but uh, if you guys want me to use that code it's it's extremely simple um, but if you guys want me to use it then that's fine but if not and you want to see how you get these things and how you go back to them that's completely okay but now that we've beaten nasty nork we have our last dragon so let's go uh, meet him hello Magnus how are you Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will not open until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. And with that, we have cl cl collected, collected our last dragon, making a total of 80. So if we go to our inventory, we have 12,000 treasure, 80 dragons, all 12, I think, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 dragon eggs, and 100%. Through every world, look at that, dream weavers, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, and 100%. So, if we turn around, the dragon mouth is open and this is nasty's loot and in the next episode we'll go through that portal and see what is inside nasty's treasure hoard i will see you guys then see you later